What's going on guys, it's Nero from TechView. In front of us is the iPhone 6 Plus. I'm going to take a quick look at the landscape mode. So given that the iPhone 6 Plus has a 5.5 inch display, which is both wider and taller than previous iPhones, it's allowed Apple to do a few things. What they've done is they've introduced a new landscape mode. If you're on Android and you've had something like a Galaxy Note before, you're not going to be surprised. But to show you what we mean, let's take first take a look at the home screen. And it brings native support for landscape home screen. Now, this does not apply to the iPhone 6, and that's probably one of the key differences between the two is. You see, I've got my iPhone 6 here, there's no landscape home screen. iPhone 6 Plus, there is. So next up. The obviously landscape home screen comes the ability for landscape applications. And that's it. You can see they're both individually controlled. This is our settings menu. Go into messages and you can see it's there as well. So if we go into Safari, you'll notice here on the left we've got our favourites, reading list and shared links. And if I go back to, if I tap on any of them, so I'll go into favourites, I'll go into Apple. It shrinks that menu down, accessible at all times, which by this little icon there to a full screen. Now if you're someone who browses your favourites quite often you can see that you can actually keep it in split mode if that's how you prefer it. And naturally when we switch it up to the full mode you'll see that landscape mode disappears. Let's go back to landscape again. And yeah that's a quick look at landscape mode. I mean there's not a lot to show you, it's nothing new but a landscape home screen alone is worth it because it's something that I've often lamented about the lack of on Android and ha seeing proper support for a landscape mode hey it makes us all everyone happy it is at the moment limited obviously to by default some of the applications such as messaging settings mail and it basically allows you to take make the most of this bigger display and it's really worth noting that as a feature it's pretty much limited to the iPhone 6 plus because if we show you the iPhone 6 here we're in settings and it's not doing it at all, sadly. We really wanted it, we would love to have that kind of feature here to be able to do landscape mode on settings on the iPhone 6. I mean, it is relatively big enough, but coming away from it, clearly Apple feel that it's only on these slightly larger devices like the iPhone 6 Plus that they're gonna bring this feature out. And yeah, quick look at the landscape mode. Thanks for watching, please like, comment and subscribe. Check out the rest of our iPhone 6 coverage. A special thanks to 3UK for sending us the iPhone 6 Plus. They're the home of unlimited data, so if you're looking for unlimited 4G, make sure you check them out. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.